President Trump continues to double down on his prediction that Alabama is going to be hit by Hurricane Dorian. Spoiler alert, it's not. Uh, and he has gone yet, according to Donald Trump, no, 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 no. Alabama is going to get a piece of it. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Uh, the National Weather Service, they're 100% wrong. He even went, go, went so far as to illegally alter a National Weather Service map in order to prove himself right. This is complete and total insanity, but these are the times that we live in. Let me show you the map here. Um, <laughs> right here. Uh, so there's Trump. Uh, there's that map. It's about five days old, by the way. Uh, and you see that little black circle on Alabama? Yeah. That that wasn't that wasn't there before. That's not on the original map. Uh, now, when asked if by a reporter if a sharpie was used to add that little black loop going into Alabama, here's what Trump said: "I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? D did you add it in sharpie or not? I mean, it could be a sharpie. It might not be a sharpie. I don't really know. I may have added it, or I might not have added it." Some people are saying that I could have added it because it's definitely going to hit Alabama, which could be the case. But those people and those people, by the way, they're great people and there are great people in Alabama and there are great Sharpies. I love Sharpies. By the way, don't listen to the fake news media. They are totally anti Sharpie. OK, the Sharpie never happened. It didn't exist. Fake news. Insanity. Complete and utter insanity. But th this is this has been saga all week. Instead of, you know, talking about Bahamas and how the Bahamas, um, one of the islands in the Bahamas is like four feet underwater uh, or two feet underwater. And there's been people that have been dying uh, from the storm. Donald Trump's been talking about, oh, no, I'm right because I said it was going to hit Alabama. But it's not actually going to hit Alabama. But don't listen to the Weather Service because they're wrong and they're part of the fake news media. I, because of all of this, I'm convinced that we are living in the wrong timeline, in like the broken worst timeline. I don't know what happened. Uh, but look, even though we are living in dystopian hellscape, uh, at least we can have a little bit of fun on social media making fun of Donald Trump and Sharpie Gate. Uh, so I want to show you some pictures along with some of the tweets just so uh, we can laugh so we don't cry. Uh, <laughs> so let's start out with Jason Almanis. And along with this picture, he says this, ah, the truth finally comes out. See, it turns out he won by the popular vote by three million. Undeniable. Absolutely undeniable there it is the, all the proof that you will ever need bill wong said trump's planned addition to mount rushmore has been revealed look at that it's natural perfect perfect uh mark nevada said that oh my god the white house released a new photo of president trump golfing he's looking so fit and so toned D impressive it must be it must be my great genes. Has to be. Has to be. Carl says, just in, Trump releases photo that shows his massive hands. Dems apologize for being wrong. Hashtag Sharpie gay. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, Trump releases photo showing how windmills cause cancer. You can see the cancer rays, right, uh, coming out from the windmills. Of course. Of course, it, they, it all makes sense now. It turns out, fake news, right? Uh, yeah, windmills cause cancer. We have we got the proof right there. All sorts of proof. <laughs> now, these are awesome. Uh, and this hashtag, super funny. Uh, <laughs> but there is actually another slightly hilarious, but also super telling thing about this. Uh, and that this... Actually, changing uh, this weather report allegedly with a with a marker might actually be a crime. 
For that, we go to two journalists, Dennis uh, Merzero and Jonathan Katz. Now, they point out that it, it is a federal crime to knowingly issue a counterfeit weather forecast or alter an official government weather forecast, which appears to be exactly what Trump has done. Specifically, 18 U.S. Code 2074, which I'm sure Donald Trump has never, ever heard of or read, uh, which states that whoever knowingly issues or publishes any kind of weather forecast or warning of weather conditions falsely representing such forecast or warning to have been issued or published by the Weather Bureau, United States Signal Service, or other branch of the government service shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 90 days or both. 90 days in prison or fine. Hey, shocker, Donald Trump lied and broke the law. But then again, he said, I don't know. I don't know if it was changed by a Sharpie. I don't know. Some people are saying that. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, dude. You know he did it. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, I think there's a 95% chance that Donald Trump drew it in Sharpie. 5% chance that one of his sycophants that, you know, sucks up to him all the time is like, Donald Trump said Alabama. Uh, okay, it says Alabama. Look, look, Mr. President, you were right 100% of the time. And I said it was telling because he was willing. I think he's either willing to break the law to be right, which doesn't surprise me at all, but that's where it is, or that his subordinates... Again, not a shocker, as we've seen it before, also break the law in order to help Donald Trump. Again, this is this is the situation that we the world that we live in now. We have a man child as president surrounded by a bunch of ass kissing sycophants. And at this moment, can't do anything about it. Nancy Pelosi refuses to impeach, of course. Uh, for actual crimes that he may have committed. And uh, nobody in the cabinet is left that will actually ever do the 25th Amendment. We're stuck with him until, or I should say, if the Democrats actually put up a candidate that will crush him, not just beat him, right? Because uh, Joe Biden says, well, I, I'll, I could beat Donald Trump. No, we don't need to just beat Donald Trump, we need to absolutely crush him, destroy him double digits by 20 points, it, you know. And, and I think Senator Bernie Sanders is the only one who's going to actually be able to do that. Uh, and that's if he's able to get through the primary without getting screwed over. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation, set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look. You know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.